Grace and peace be with you as we all gather this morning for worship here or wherever you find yourself today on this fifth Sunday of Easter. It's also Mother's Day. I'm Pastor Kirk Tastad here in Yellowknife Northwest Territories for Holy Family Lutheran Church, which is located on the territory of the Yellowknife's Dene Chief Dry Geese Territory. As restrictions continue uh, to open up slowly across Canada, we still aren't quite at a place where we can gather together. But we can be thankful for the technology that helps us to worship and to remain connected. And we're thankful for each of you as you continue to share your lives with us and with each other, as you continue to check in on one another and those around you. And we're thankful for your financial support and definitely your prayers at this time. One of the functions of prayer is to help us to be more mindful of others as we lift them up to God for healing and protection and life. Prayer connects us not just to God, but in a way it connects us to each other and even to strangers who we may never have met as we hold each of us up to our God as ones who were made in the image of God. Today we gather and we are mindful of our place in this world, our place in our community and with each other. Our prayers are offered as we sing and as we gather around the one who is our refuge and our strength. And so feel free at any point of the service uh, today to stop or to rewind or to join your prayers as you feel led. We begin this time of worship in confession and by opening ourselves to God. <laughs> A reading from Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Do not let me ever be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that's hidden for me. For you are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. A reading from John, the 14th chapter. Jesus said, do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God and believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and I will take you to myself, so that where I am, 
there you may be also. Thomas said, Lord, we don't know where you are going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nothing can travel, nothing can frighten those who seek God shall never go wanting. Nothing can travel, nothing can frighten God. Jesus said, I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. Nothing can trouble, nothing can frighten. Those who seek a said, I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit whom God will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave to you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives, and so do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Nothing can trouble, nothing can frighten. Those who seek God shall never go wanting. Nothing can trouble, nothing can frighten. God Thanks be to God. As the disciples are troubled at the thought of Jesus leaving them, Jesus comforts them by reminding them that God continues to abide and dwell with them. And he will even send the Spirit to be with them. Trust in me, Jesus says. You know me. Therefore you know God, and what God is all about. Love, and justice, and peace, and healing. Likewise, the psalmist from Psalm 31 reminds us that God's commitment to God's people is steadfast. Even in times when forces are working against his life, the psalmist entrusts his spirit his life and his future into God's hands and invites us to as well. It's almost like his way of active resistance that regardless of what might come his way or our way, we will trust in God's love to help us see through to the other side. As Jesus prepares to leave the disciples on the way to the cross, he echoes the words of this psalm, entrusting his own spirit and his own future to God. His act of resistance takes the form of love and forgiveness, grounded in the sure and the certain hope of resurrection. And so as it was for the psalmist and for Jesus, may it be so with our simple and profound commitment. Into your hands I commit my spirit. 
We entrust ourselves to you, O God. Teach us to love as you do, as we have seen you do in Jesus. And teach us to follow your way. Let us pray together. Many among us are troubled and afraid. Individual families and communities, churches and nations. We put our trust in you, O God, and name before you our friends and strangers, situations and places in our world now filled with fear or deeply troubled. As well, we give thanks for the ways that we have seen you at work, bringing new life among us. For the parents and the students of the school and the administration as they try to navigate this learning online. For those struggling with isolation who are separated from their loved ones. For those who are sick or anxious for medical workers, care providers, and essential workers, for those suffering from domestic violence, for those who are unemployed or struggling financially, for those who have no choice but to work in compromised situations, for caution and wisdom in our choices as physical restrictions begin to lift, for all mothers, for creation as it greens and it breathes and whose showers refresh and bring forth life. Let us make room for all of these things and all of the cries of our hearts, trusting in the one who dwells and abides in us and with us and who calls us to acts of love in the world around us. And so as we sing, you are invited to pray, or to reflect, or to just sing along, adding your prayers in silence or in song.
gathering our many prayers into one, let us pray. Merciful God, source of all goodness and life, into your wide embrace we place all for whom we pray. As we have turned to you in prayer, help us to turn towards one another in peace and tend the world with justice and mercy. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, in whose name we pray. Amen. May the blessing of God go with you this day. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Go in peace. The risen Christ goes with you. Alleluia.